If you thought that BeamNG's version 0.3.0 is the oldest build ever released, well, you're wrong. It turns out someone on Reddit had dug up an old file of version 0.1. This appears to be the very first version of BBG Drive that was publicly released. In this video, I'll go over this build to see what it's like, especially for a 10-year-old version of BeamNG Drive, which currently, as it be speaking, the current version of this game is 0.27, which that's a very, very long way they've come. Hey guys, it's Trice here, and let's see what version 0.1 has to offer. So first things first, right away we got Alpha Work in Progress. Well, thank you, it's still in the Alpha stages right now, according to BeamNG devs and everybody, but nice it shows that it's really in its true Alpha state. And if we go to the Play button here, we got three maps instead of the 0.3.0 tech demo version of the game where we got just grid map itself. So we got Dry Rock Island with Dry underscore Rock underscore Island, then the old, very old grid map. And lastly, the industrial map, which they got the port in the background, which the industrial port is now its own level as a version like 0.22 or something like that, 2324, something like that. So anyways, let's go to grid map to see what it's like. So we got objects nearly done, and here is the truck. We got the old ass Gavril D series up in here at damn just like the tech double the sensitive ass camera how about the moving speed very sensitive jeez so going over the truck this pretty much screams how old this game is we got some body issues right here folks and the old very low poly interior look at the gauges and not only that, last thing to throw this out, we got the old BeamNG sandbox type of billboard that we got going here compared to this version and the tech demo version as you see right here. So let's give it a brief drive to see what this car is like up in here so we can accelerate as so, but unfortunately we don't have a UI. What's funny, look at me, I'm turning right. We got a right turn signal that stays on no matter what, as long as you straighten the wheel out that the turn signal disappears. It'll do the same thing if I turn left, as so. Look at this dude jiggling! <laughs> Look at the body jiggling up in here! The, the rear left tire is trying to escape this... kinda hellish madness. So yeah, the freaking body of this truck, the physics behind it has dramatically changed. Not only that, the steering is so sensitive. Look how sensitive this thing is. It's like I'm trying to drift with zero effort. Look at that drift. You're welcome. All right, let's do this jump right here. What was it like making this jump? Freaking whooshing ass sound. So by the looks of this bad boy, fortunately you could zoom in and out as so, which is kind of fortunate. So we got the truck severely damaged the front end. Not only that, I'll try to get a high speed crash that's going to see some sparks and everything. All right, we got this big wall up ahead. So the slow-mo effect Whoa, does work in this version of the game. So how is it effective if I slow the simulation down as so? so oh! We got the sparks. We got the impact. Why are my... Uh, why is this not working? Is my keyboard disconnected? Did I get a virus? Maybe not. So you see in there, there are a lot of sparks and a lot of smoke compared to the new version of the game where it doesn't have that whatsoever. And even just a brief flyover of the map here. I mean, this is so... Barren compared to what we got with grid map version 2 and the previous older version of grid map before the version 2 update of this here little vehicular playground that we got going here. And last week before we get out of this map, let's test the suspension. Jesus, this thing is so bouncy. There goes the rear bumper about to come off and this bad boy, as far as I see the videos of the old version of the game, this was a bouncy boy, all right? So there's that. Anything more extreme? How about some off-roading? Let's do this right here, and we'll find another map. We'll probably go to the industrial map. So here we go, off-roading. Speed running this right here, good boys and girls. Here goes the rear bumper. More <laughs> freaking simple crash type of noise up in here. How about the more extreme one right next door? All right, boys, we're going extreme. Very slowly. And we might not be stuck. Cool. Uh, on second thought, I guess I am stuck. So to change the maps out here, I hit the escape button to exit from this mission. It kicks you back to the main screen and we click on play and go to the map industrial, which is a torque level, probably torque 3D, which I think they still use the torque 3D engine, don't they? Or no? 
So here is the industrial map. We got right here spawned at this little warehouse stigabajig here, all abandoned, all semi raggedy that we got going here. And also, if you know from the old version of industrial, well, we got the track as so right here, a basic short track as I keep panning out as so. I can't really adjust the camera speed or whatever. So we got the other short road course that we got going here. We got this one and this one too, and a little dirt track and the port section right here so here is all the shipping containers left and right some freaking graphical oh graphical pro uh, hello so we got this here part of the map which it's now its own version i think it's just simply called port in the new versions of beam and g drive so it's an experience having both the industrial map and the port map all together unlike nowadays so going to the industrial port section here, so there's some missing buildings. Can I go through here? Let's see, I got some shadows. Hmm. Is this a building or something right here? It sucks I can't just go to free cam and just F7 the car like this right here. I'm hitting F7. Debug mode, what? Whoa, okay, we got the freaking debugger up in here, folks. So uh, how do I... How do I get rid of this? So going through the industrial port as I hastily do this by doing some freaking serpentining on my keyboard because a lack of controller support in this game. You probably would have had like probably an Xbox to plug this into, but unfortunately, I'm not an Xbox boy, I'm a PlayStation boy. I have a PS4 controller that I've always been using for like games like this, so unfortunately, that was probably too alien technology for this game. So sadly, I can't really drift the car as so, so we're just driving it simply and uh, how about right here? Let's try to climb the shipping containers as so. I also found a P button, which is the parking brake, which still works in modern day BMG Drive. Are you kidding me? You're a truck. Climb that now. Watch, I swear. All right, ram this. Can I start playing the freaking Ram Ranch theme to really prove a point here? We're more just ramming this little pallet thing rather than going over it. Look at that. Here we go. We got to ram ourselves up. You're not stupid. All right, help me. Help me. Damn it, devs. And unfortunately, since there's no such thing as vehicle recovery, we respawn way over here. All right, so wrapping up this section of the map here for Industrial before we go to Dry Rock Island, I'm going to see if I can actually complete, like, a kind of a lap right here around the other track here with the off-road section that we got going here, especially this little dirt section, this dirt turn. Probably make a right-hander to this big-ass dirt section here, and maybe a... Let's go straight here up this little uphill, up and around, make a right, and come back to where I'm at right here. After that, and we'll try out what Dry Rock Island was like. So unfreeze physics and just go, since there's no such thing as a time trial back in the day. So how does handling like, again, especially on a dirt road? The tires were screeching. This ain't asphalt. This is just pure dirt -a. All right, another right-hander, deja vu. This is a truck for God's sakes, not a Japanese uh, sports car, two-door, this and that car. So it's pretty sluggish and hard to control. It's gonna get to your view. Go in, 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 in. Please. Look at the steering wheel. I mean, this is so <gasps> mentally crazy. Okay, going up the uphill as so. And I just noticed that I have crashed into a couple rocks. Well, whatever. I also kind of noticed if you were to accelerate and hit the brakes as so. Can I zoom in? Uh, no, I'll probably zoom in right here. So look at the freaking gear shifter. Goes from. Drive to neutral? Neutral? Okay, there you go. What's a neutral to drive? And sometimes it can go from neutral to drive to reverse for some odd reason, which that's kind of weird in how this implemented it back then. Nowadays, you just figure it stay on drive to come to a complete stop, but you have the option to just reverse, park, shift gears, or all that good stuff. I mean, this was kind of... There it goes. I think it's when you fully lock up the tires and still stay on the brakes as so. All right, let's go to the final version. Let me go to windowed mode and actually show you like the road editor and everything. Let's do it right here. So get a full screen and apply. It's gonna look janky right now, but I'll fix it. All right, so here is the map of Dry Rock Island. And we got a pimped out kind of crash that we got going here. So I would definitely rate this 10 out of 10. All right, got it back working. So the spawn point was through the actual brick 
building up in here, so not that bad of a detail for a 13 or a 2013 version of this game about 10 years ago, so not too bad. So if I go in the open, there was some like, uh, gl like texture glitches all over the place, especially for an NVIDIA 3060 Ti users, so here is the map as so. I'm driving around, trying to stay centered, so this would be the version you'd see in version 0.3.0 for the loading screen, like somewhere is just back there. Well, do you want to check the credits, the loading screen, like to load into a map, or all that good stuff? Pretty much for the, for the majority of BMG Drive as time went on after the tech demo version of the game. And the general looks of this map here, so we got the little, looks like the derby ring. Is this actually implemented in the game, or just separate? I think this is probably implemented as so, I believe, if I'm recalling correctly. This micro village? I never knew about this. I never knew about this, but all thanks to freaking YPR for making me buy this game back in 2016, I believe, when I first had Beam and G. It's been a while. So we got another port right here. We got the Beam and G shipping containers uh, hastily stacked together, tipped over. What is this, like some failed drug shipping that we got going here? Uh, yes, it is. Call the FBI, DEA right now. So another port map that we got going here, well not port map, but port section of the map, highway, village, this and that, all over the damn place. And a brief overlook of the world editor, I think F10 is the UI GUI editor, that's not it, so F11 is the world editor, so here is the world editor as so. So it's just like your typical world editor back in the day or present day, you got the scenes all as so, TS static for the trees? The forest. Yes, let's do the forest. You're welcome. And I regret that. Oh good, Control Z works. Nice. So that works, including the terrain editor where I can just create uh, texture issues that we got going here. And my own freaking version of Mount Everest, but more lethal. And getting out of freaking road editor does this yet again. So that'll do it with BMG Drive with version 0.1 of the game. So compared to this version and the current version, as of right now, 0.27, they have come a very, very long way. With a crap ton of vehicles added to the game, as you can see here, a variety of realistic vehicles, which that is fairly true, to be honest with you. You got that, general updates to the game, improvements, and all that good stuff. So yeah, a very interesting find of finding a much older version of this game. And for those who are interested in this type of content, please be sure to like and subscribe so you won't miss out on any videos like this in the future. So this is Tries Rising Up, and signing out.